I'm so out of it today. I forgot to go live and then I forgot that I hit go live. I don't know what's going on in my head today, but I am not all here. Slang, thank you so much for gifting 10 community subs and thank you for subscribing as well. Welcome to the Kevin of Drew Badger Modes and your stay. Hello, howdy. What's up, friends? So hold on, where's my, where's my little doohickey up here? Oh, banner, there we go. Oh my goodness. All right, so being live isn't an oh no? I mean, sometimes it's a little bit of an oh no. Oh no -y. Oh my god, how's everybody doing? Can you believe it? Can you believe that I'm live again? I can't believe it. Oh my god, I didn't even plug in my headset. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh my god. We're at like three years then, right? Leg day! Hi! Hi! It's look kind of new, but I like seeing you live. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Oh. Honestly, I feel like every time I take a break and come back to streaming, I feel like I'm a new streamer. Wrathful board, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Coverage of Badger Bus Interstay. Hi, Jin. Hello, peep. I'm alright, NJ. Honestly, I am having a great hair day. Oh. I got. I think I got. I got oil on my sweater the other day and it's still on here. It stained it. No! How do. Does anyone know how to get rid of oil stains? Shit. Thank you, leg day. Enjoy playing some Overwatch. Hey, Sean. But I figured out a new like hair care routine and my hair is so soft and silky right now. Y'all obviously probably can't tell, or maybe you can, I don't know. It looks amazing. Thank you, Jin. Thank you, please clean it. Oranges, how do I get oil out of my shirts? Oh wait, this is a new oil stain. This is from my ramen a second ago. Cause I was just eating ramen. <laughs> I was slurping it. Wait a minute. So there's hope. I might be able to get this one out. So that means the other stain is gone then cause I don't see it. Dish soap and hot water. All right, do I do that now or can I stream first? <laughs> I was slurping. I was. I went to town, okay? Also, where's my water bottle? I'm so scattered. Oh my god. Okay, let me let me get my water bottle. I'm thirsty. Scrub by hand? Okay. It's pretty fresh. It's pretty fresh. It smells like my ramen. Hi, Slim Grim. Hello. Oh my god, from your Lamborghini? Wow. Hello. Yes, blotch. Or you, you blot it, and then you use baking soda, and you scrub a dub dub, and you use your dish soap and your hot water. You almost ordered ramen? Well, why didn't you? What stopped you? Baba, do you want me to drop my hair care routine? Is that what you want? I could do that. I could tell y'all what I've been using. So I finally started using Olaplex. I've heard great things about Olaplex. I just never like purchase a product. So I use Olaplex number three. I go in the shower, I wet my hair, and <clears throat> then I step out for a bit. I'm in my towel. <laughs> I do my, I, like I wash my face. Andy, thank you for the four month resub. So I'll wash my face, scrub it up, do all that like skincare stuff um, while my hair, well, you know what? Let me start over. Let me let me start over now that I'm not going to be scared while I say this. So I go into the shower. I wash my body. I wet my hair. I get out the shower. I dry. Well, I wrap myself in a towel. And while my hair is wet, I put Olaplex number three in my hair. I just run it through it. And then I, while I do that, I will, like, while I wait, like, ten minutes, I'll clean my face. So I use my CeraVe, like, hydrating cleanser, whatever the heck. Scrub my face, get all the gunks out, whatever I gotta do. And then by the time that's done, like I'll brush my teeth and whatever, I go back into the shower, I rinse the Olaplex out my hair, and then I put in my, I do my routine then. So I use um, the Fable and Main Scalp Scrub. 
I use the Brio Geo, Brio Geo, Brio G D O D O shampoo and conditioner, like the avocado one. So I do that, and then when I come out the shower, I put in the Olaplex bonding oil, and I braid my hair, and I put a little bit of the Fable Fable and Mane oil as well. And I braid my hair, I go to sleep, I wake up, and my hair is beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Patrick! Hello, I wash my hair, I wet- Wait, I wash my body, wet my hair is a weird place to come into this conversation. Patrick, do you want hair care, um, tips? Do you need any? Is it YouTube upcoming? Or white upcoming? Hello! My hair routine is shaver. I'm bald. I love it. Honestly? Look. If I- was confident in my well you know what actually let me let me start that over i think i would look fucking amazing with like a buzz head i would love that look on me but i have too many insecurities because i feel like i look too masculine and that stems from trauma and i would not do that not yet i want to get over my childhood trauma of getting bullied for looking masculine which i love now but it still like you know hurts me um, I want to get over that so I can, like, buzz my head. <laughs> oh my god, dry shampoo? I've started using the, um, what's it called? Living Proof, I think? The Living Proof dry shampoo? So good. So, so, so good. You're obviously being from Zizan. I am! I am! I usually have super, super dry hair. Um, it kind of sucks. But I have, like... <sighs> I don't, know. I don't know how to describe it. My hair is thick and it's dry, but it holds products really well, which is like a good thing and a bad thing, you know, because then my hair will trap Subdued. oil for longer than it should. That's kind of it. That's actually the end of the sentence. Hi, CJ, CJ. Thank you for the 31 month resub. I hope you are doing well, BB. How are you? It's been a hot minute. And dude, what the fuck, John? Thank you for the two month resub. How you doing? Oh, hey, Faith. Hello. You know the funny thing about being confident enough to be bald? Most of the confidence comes after you do it? Really? So maybe I should just fucking do it then. Emma, YouTube, you can also- you can go with YT? Alright, YT. I'll try to remember that. I'd slap it every day out of love? What does that mean? What would you slap every day out of love? Your bald head? <laughs> oh, you finally got The Sims 4 to work again? So that's why you disappeared. What a story. I use shampoo and conditioner. I need a gel or goop to keep the straight hairs from flooping all over the place. Oh my god. I want to find a like a gel or spray that works well with my hair texture. Because I I get a lot of like baby like baby hair flyaways and I would love for if like on humid days and rainy days, I could go outside and not have to worry about it because I already set my hair. Have I tried pomade? I have not. Aussie hairspray is holes like no one's business. I'm listening. I followed for long enough to know you are strong-willed and know what's best for you, Sarah. So if you do it, I know you will do when you're ready. Thank you, Faith. I will do when I'm ready. Good work on the consistency. The what? What consistency for what? For streaming? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm I'm really trying. I was gonna stream yesterday, but I went to the club instead. <laughs> Cause I have priorities. <laughs> Man, look, I almost forgot that I was at the club. We, we, we Sorry, uh, left, uh, uh, me and my uh, friend uh. left my home at like 10, 10 30. And then we got to our friend's home well, right after. And we left our friend's home at 11 30. I was at the club until 4 a.m. Until 4 a.m. I was dancing for four straight hours. And I was vibing! I was fucking vibing! All of us, we were just... <laughs> oh my god. So, like, my legs are kind of hurting. Um, my arthritis is not happy with me. But the tunes. The tunes! They were so good. <laughs> How do you forget? I'm not the brightest. 
I'm going to a party tomorrow, about to be sexy ghost face. Oh my god, I forgot. I have to get my, my scream mask as well. I have a ghost face uh, look being plotted. Hello, the Sableye plushie on the mic. Thank you. Oh my god. I should probably replace Sableye, huh? Gotta put me on there. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. I should probably. Can, can I put Mini Me on here? Nah, she'll. She's too heavy. I mean, I could probably strap her in with, like, duct tape. Are you guys getting feedback from this? Oh. How does that sound? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's bad, Lily. I can't make a fist with my left hand. Been on that for a couple days. Oh, no! Oranges, I'm so sorry! I know that pain. I know that pain all too well. That's why, as well, for, I want to say, like, a week or two, I couldn't play Final Fantasy because, like, my, my hands just weren't letting me do it. It was rumbly when she moved, but it's not bad now. Good. She's gonna fall any second now, and I'm ready for it. Ooh! Oh, I just got a weird pain over here. And no, it's not my heart. It's my boob. I love how places are doing 4 a.m. closings again. I know. I love it, but I don't. <laughs> I love it because that means I can keep dancing. But that also means I can keep dancing. <laughs> it depends on, I guess, like the, the venue, right? Like most clubs will, you can keep, like, it'll go on until 4 a.m., but... If it's like a like a concert venue, like a concert hall, it won't. I'ma shut up about my birthday shopping. Ooh, you going birthday shopping? What you getting? When's your birthday? Need someone to tell you to get out and go to sleep? <laughs> Seriously, I like someone needs to be like running the club and be like, alright everyone, go to bed. Show's over. I need that. I need that. <laughs> or I will never go to bed. It's funny too, cause like, sometimes when I come- Oh my god. My child. Whew. I got her. She's safe. It's okay. It's okay. I saw her life flash before my eyes. Hello Samhain! Are you gonna be celebrating Samhain in a couple days? Hi Sega. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I've never been clubbing like that. I already feel tired thinking about it. Honestly, it's fun. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. Um, when I go clubbing, it's funny because like sometimes like I'll have such a rush from whoever it was I was seeing and I'll come home, put on my headphones and keep jamming. <laughs> I keep going. Hi, Kelsey. How are you? What's Waffle House? Small Syrah? I know. Leg day, did you get a mini me yet? For those of you who do not know, I... Wait, is my bot on? I don't think it is. Let me turn this bitch on. For those of you that don't know, I am now selling plushies. Well, kind of. I have a Kickstarter for the Syrah plush. Waha! On Makeship. And if you purchase a little Syrah and help us reach the goal of 200, then, well, then we can ship mini Syrahs and everyone can get a mini me. And if you do buy one, send a moderator your receipt and you can get a free trial code for my fan house, which means you get 30 day access to spicy content, cute content, Waldo content, life content, and just direct access to messaging me, which we all love, right? Oh no, I think my bot's dead. Oh, no, she's alive. Oh my God, Jay is still a, a, a mod here? When was the last time Jay has been in my stream? It's command plushy, I think. Very upset I can't get one personally from you in Anaheim. I know! Oh my god. If I could leg day, I would. I would I would hand deliver you one if I could. There's always a J in your stream. I know! <laughs> there is always! I'm just collecting the J's. I'm like Ash Ketchum, but for J's. Gotta Oh, gotta catch them all. Oh my god, my knee. Are we talking ghost pepper or pepperoncini? What is pepperoncini? They're only 26 funded. I know, we're only at 26%. Come on. Come on. 
Wait, what? Basically a PC without the monitor? Oh, let me see. On November 22nd. Oh, your birthday's in a month. And I'm getting a something, something, something. So a PC without the monitor. Bet! You're getting a new PC. That's awesome. That's a great birthday gift. Waffle House is cheap. You just smells like cigarette smoke and it's a whole different dimension past midnight. <laughs> Suddenly I want to go. Hi, Perfect Calm. Oh. So, like, I haven't... This is TMI, but I don't care. Y'all are used to it. All right. So, I'm sure the coochie beholders in the chat can bear with me real quick. I haven't gotten my period yet, but I'm getting, like, all the symptoms of having a period. Like, I've been cramping. I, and, like, right now, specifically, I got those, like, those butthole cramps. But not the ones that are, like, right at your butthole. The ones that are, like, beside it. Like, behind it. Does that make sense? Like, behind the butthole? It's... I'm not... I'm... Mm -hmm. So, y'all, give me... Give me one second. <laughs> give me a second. Because I can feel it there, and it's, like, going... To, like, my... Like... Another part of me. Which I can't actually name. Mm. Give me one sec. I think I'm gonna take an Advil. Hold on. Oh. 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 And having a coochie sucks. I don't want this anymore. If I got my uterus removed, Sarah would I be fine? Sarah would I be chilling? Sarah 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 no, not my bladder. Did you just call a vagina the second buffle? Yeah, chat. Did you know that some people actually have two buttholes? Can you believe that? It's amazing. Truly. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, who knew? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, my mom let me have two buttholes. I know I'm very privileged to have two buttholes. I asked when I was really young and she gave it to me. I thought they were just one giant butthole. Could you imagine if you shat out of your pussy? Um. Oh! <laughs> imagine? Okay. If you poop out of your pussy. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. Actually, I don't know if you want to hear me out, but it's too bad. Like, too late. So, you know how... You know how, like, when you're... Like, during anal... If you don't douche... Inserting things, like when you're constipated too... Inserting things can make things come out? You know how terrifying sex would be? If you pooped out of your vagina, do you know how much like, like cleansing you'd have to do if you're like into anal and vaginal sex? It's like, hold up, give me like one hour while I prep. And that hour goes by and the person that you're trying to like hook up with, they're like, I'm, I lost it. I'm not into this anymore. I waited too long. You should have been ready. You should have been prepared. Like as if I had an hour to spare. I just like laid my life on the line for you in the bathroom getting rid of all of my bowels from the front and the back and you want to fuck me anymore I'm sorry what did you think you'd be getting into when you come into my stream are any of you surprised by this conversation because you shouldn't be <laughs> You know what, like, sucks? I'm loud. Um, the door for my, like, 
condo is right there. I just heard someone come into their home, which means they were in the hallway and heard all of that. <sighs> and I have to see these people like every other day. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, no, it's like not the worst thing that anyone's heard. I, I'm tame. I don't say anything too crazy on here. On Twitter, however. <laughs> okay, do we want like full brightness? Ooh, my FPS went up. Ooh. Sometimes you gotta ride the brown wave. Can someone ban Caleb? Real quick, just get rid of him all together. You know what? I'm taller than Caleb. But can you believe that? I'm taller than somebody. Amazing. I'm taller than one of my mods. I can just squish him. I will just step on you like a fucking bug. Like you're a little cockroach. Look at that skin glow. Oh, uh, no. Oh, my God. Dolly, hello. It's nice to see you. How are you, Bean? Between you and this one English stream right now, I'm useless by now. She has IBS, so I have to listen to poop stuff or Dutch ovens. Oh, my God. Okay, who has been here long enough to remember Dutch oven me daddy? Mm, who remembers that? Does anybody remember that? That was a very long time ago. A brown wave? It's the brown streamers taking over. Okay, that's what it is. It's not, it's got nothing to do with anal and vaginal shit. I'm good. I'm good, Dolly. It's really nice to see you. Every time you pop into my stream, I get really happy. I'm like, oh my god. I beat the time zone? <laughs> Excuse me? Why are you Syra Christing me? What did I do? What did I do? <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, so I have this photo with a friend from from forever ago. From PAX East 2020. Look at this. Hold on. Pretty sure I've shown chat this before because it looks like I have a fat cock in it. Cause like my phone or like my wallet. No, my water bottle. My water bottle was in my pocket and it gave the illusion of a fat dick. Hold on. I'll show you this. <laughs> this was <laughs> this moment like lives in my head rent free. Hold on. And I know I've met some of y'all at cons. This is this is him giving me his wallet, by the way. That's the context here. He, I'm getting his wallet. So I, I know I've met some of you at cons and we all take like super cute photos and stuff, but I am like humbly requesting that the next time I see someone at a con, get me to step on you. I'll do it. Get on your knees. I will step on you. I'm not gonna clean my shoes either. That's for the bootlickers. They can clean my shoe. Oh my lord, you were schlanging. I know, right? Quinn, how are you? What's up? Small world! How the fuck do you know Nova and Sam? The hell? I saw, I think it was like your Instagram story or Nova's story? The fuck? I know, thank you. I do have a big dick, thank you. Con floors are so dirty. That's okay. We can take it outside, bitch. That sounded aggressive. <laughs> we can take it outside. I'm sorry. I'll bring a ring with me instead. No. No. Have y'all ever, um, what do you call it? Never mind. I forgot. It's gone. We went to a haunted house. Oh, I'm jealous. I want to go to a haunted house. I haven't been to a haunted house in like a hot minute. I was supposed to go to Halloween Haunt, which is um, basically like a like a haunted theme park event. Um, but it ended up not happening, and I'm really sad about it. Meet me behind the Timmy's in the corner. Oh my god! If someone told me to meet them behind the Timmy's, I'm just gonna assume that I'm dying. This is how I die. <laughs> I actually brought you up. Sam was talking, was asking why nobody ever played Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, do none of y'all play? Quinn, when the f I've been asking you. Fucking download the game. 
I will play with you. I will teach you how to be a god. I'm not really good at the game, but I can pretend to be good. Okay. I'll bring a soul statue. Oh, speaking of, I didn't do my unboxing today. Should I do one now? Should I do it live? I wanted to save it for TikTok content because I don't make TikToks anymore. But, like, should I do it now? They're right here. I actually don't know which ones they are. I think it's supposed to be Solus and Varric. Or it could be Morrigan. I don't know. It doesn't fucking say. It just says Dark Horse. Oh. There's this one, and then there's this one. This one looks bigger. It feels heavier, too. Hide the address. Oh, could y'all see that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Vlad threatened me? What'd you do? Oh, no. I threatened you. I did. Right. No, but someone might screenshot it. Well. Well. Let me just quickly go back in my VOD. And, uh... Let's see. <laughs> fartproof underwear? Excuse me. What is fartproof underwear? How can, like, the smell gets trapped in the underwear? That sounds like an infection waiting to happen. Let's see. Okay, my stream is too low quality for you to even be able to make anything out. Yeah, you can't see shit. You can't see shit. So we ball. We ball. Wouldn't that just be a diaper, basically? I wear, like, big pads when I'm on my period because I have fibroids, which means I get a ton of blood to the point where, like, nothing else makes me feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Like, the diva cup, like, I'm sorry, that is not going to hold everything that's in me because I would be, like, cleansing out over and over and over and over and over again, right? It's just not it. And so it's, like, kind of like a diapy. Exactly. I got to do the diaper pads. <laughs> yeah. Why are there like 13 games? How many do they need? Hey, you can say the same thing about Pokemon and Mario and Zelda. I feel like this is feeding someone's kink. Ew. How? Talking about period blood? That sounds like a Dutch oven. It does sound like a Dutch oven. Farting and trapping it in your panties is just a personal Dutch oven. You're just Dutch ovening yourself. Dutch oven me, daddy. Mm. Okay, is, is everyone ready for some final of the fantasies? Because I am. We're going to be doing more MSQ stuff. Because I want to get this shit over with. I'm... I'm... Honestly, I'm not enjoying Stormblood. It's not really fun. Um, the story hasn't really gripped me. The storm hasn't bled yet. Like, I'm, it's just... It's, it's, I'm not really enjoying it. So, I just want to get through it. Because I know Shadowbringers is supposed to bang. So... Hi, Elise. I bet your Twitch page would be filled with the most random stuff you got sponsored by that company. By what company? If I got sponsored by, like, a tampon or, like, pad company? What's the fucking... I forgot what it's called. How far into Storming Blood are we? I think I just got to Namai. Yeah, I've heard that Stormblood is the weakest aspect of, or the weakest extension for, ex expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. So I'm not surprised. I kind of knew going in that I wouldn't enjoy it that much. I do have a couple friends who really do enjoy it. 
Um, so I was hoping because I had similar interests with them that I would too, but no. Yes, the post Stormblood stuff is apparently quite good. But it's the weakest? Yeah, that's that's exactly it. When you compare Stormblood to the rest, it just doesn't it just doesn't hit. And stream without worrying about leaks. Thanks to Tampax. Elise? Elise? That's actually a banger. I'm stealing that right now. I know I'm not sponsored by Tampax, but I'm fucking yoinking that and I'm putting it in mod chat right now. Not a joke. Ask a mod. I literally just put it in there. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry if I missed anything in chat. I'm scoozying over to the finals of the fantasy. And as always, because I'm doing the MSQ, I got my cat ears on. Alright, was there anything that I had to do really quickly in here? Maybe. I guess I could quickly go... Um... What do you call it? Not restore. What's the word that I'm looking for, chat? Re revive? No. Clean? No. <laughs> mend. Mend Mend my gear. That's what I wanted to do. Wait. Let's do this real quick. So... All this does, it means that, um... Like, my gear, quote-unquote, breaking, like, it will just break, basically, right? Like, that's all that would happen. Like, when they wear down, like, they don't become less effective, right? I just have to catch it before they break? Something like that? Do I have anything here that I can just, like, I could just, like, get? Get rid of? No. Oh, really? They actually are less effective? Oh, shit. What was I gonna do? There was something else I wanted to do. Chat, do you remember what it was? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Jen, thank you for gifting Kelsey a sub. I appreciate it. And Metroid! Two whole years, wow. Metroid, thank you for the two year resub! Welcome back to the coven! Okay, I'm having one of those... One of those moments where I forget the commands of the game. <laughs> No shot. No shot. Oh wait. Oh, we ball. Oh yeah, because it wasn't it wasn't made yet. Or no, they they dismantled it and we have to put it back together and Alize has to get Alfino to help her with it. Oh my god, I'm remembering things. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see. Lights off? Yeah, lights off. I hope everyone had a lovely Friday. Thank you. I hope you did too. Wait, what's this? There's a lot of blue here. Oh, ether currents. That is um kind of important. All right, let's just do the MSQ though. Okay, let's see. Yugiri is troubled by what she has seen. What is it that she has seen? <laughs> I do remember the thing with the the girl and the and the son or the girl and her brother and the brother was saying that their parents or their parents were killed and and they might kill his sister if if we met like meddle with the town or something like that. Oh, we're finding a place to hide. Oh. The dome half of Storm was way better than the Alamigo half. I will take that with a grain of salt. Only thing is gear that is broken when apply its stats until repaired. That's it. Doesn't matter until it's broken. Huh. Okay. So yeah, so I don't have to like worry about it. Alright. Okay. Okay, where the fuck are we hiding? I like because like, oh my god, hide! And I'm just like, thanks guys, leave me out of this, I guess. <laughs> oh, over here. Here we go. So why are we hiding? Who's disturbing us? Who's disturbing the peace? Is it me? It's me. It technically is me. Oh. God, these wolf people are so hot. Something about the eyes. Maybe I am a furry. 
Imperials. Oh, heck. That armor is dope, though! They're like the East Asian inspired stormtroopers. <laughs> Why like how Pepper is just in the back, like, huh? <laughs> Form a line! Now! Oh no. Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act brazen. cannot and will not go unanswered. That was a lot of As emphasis. loyal subjects of the Empire, who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well. Oh? There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks. Cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your homes. Why don't I believe that? Free to return? You, you first. I'd assume if he said no, they'd kill him, right? No, oh, the hot one. The boy? Oh. <laughs> the Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Oh no. Don't worry. I will be back before you know it. Famous last words. Listen to the elders while I'm away and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. Oh, he did. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> he ain't coming back. We thank you for your cooperation. Rest assured that this will all be over very soon. Once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby tithe. Oh, they're each like individually getting escorted or are they like sandwiching them? Oh yeah, sandwiching them. There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. Oh. Well, and we shall, but before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited, nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? Absolutely. See, I was gonna say, like, we I don't return want... to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight. Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. See, I was gonna say, I don't want Lise, like, leading this, because I feel like she would just want to go bum-rush them, and those I poor people that. would I get do. killed! Just, when I saw them rounding those people up... Look, if anything happens, anything at all, you'd better call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all. I'm sensing some beef. All right. Okay, so Yugiri and I are gonna go do the thing, I guess. 
All right. Regardless of what the officer claims, I fear they have crueler designs for these people. With me, Pepper. We must hurry. Indeed. Indubitably. Like, just say I'm worthless. I know, right? Look, do you expect them to say anything kindly to these people? No. Do they care about their feelings? No. Did you watch the Batman? No, I did not watch it yet. I know we were talking about it the other day, but I didn't have time to. I guess technically I could have watched it today, but instead I watched Jennifer's Body. And I felt real bad about it. I started watching it around 4 o'clock, and I was going to ask like the server if anyone wanted to watch with me, but I figured everyone would be at work. So. But I'm always down to rewatch it. <laughs> Given the circumstances, we must make every effort to refrain from needless violence. Exactly. That's why Lise isn't with us. Here, it is a shinobi's tool for when a more discreet approach is required. Use it with these darts. They are coated with an alchemical regent, regent? that induces a deep sleep. Oh! These are soldiers patrolling ahead. Were circumstances different, we could engage them directly, but for the villagers' sake, we dare not risk it. See? Smart! Tactical! We will use our blowguns and cap in incapacitate them. Regardless of your familiarity with such weapons, you are a veteran warrior, and I am sure it will come naturally to you. Nevertheless, practice is in order. Practice? Speak with Yugiri and use your blowgun to incapacitate the Imperial soldier. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Going over here? Okay, I'm gonna go blow someone. Yep. Behind this rock, I'm gonna blow someone. There. The soldier on the hill below. Take aim and fire. If the dart finds his mark, he shall fall within moments. Search your surroundings for the Imperial soldier. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target the soldier and use the blowgun with R2 and X. Oh, just R2 or X. Wait. Oh. Him? Do I have to- I don't- I don't think I'd have to, like, zoom in real close. But I guess... To be safe, so I don't miss. So I don't miss. Oh. E. 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 Does it matter where I shoot? Do I have to aim for the head or anything? Oh. I guess I was fine. Hell yeah. Hey, Sarah, is Zeno's daddy? No, Zeno's has spaghetti hair. I don't want no Justin Timberlake looking ass. Well done, my friend. Now give me your map. There is a vantage point from which you may observe and fire upon the other soldiers. Worry not, I shall be with you every step of the way, keeping watch over other patrols. We shall speak again on the other side of the river. Sounds good. So she just wants me to start shooting people? <laughs> All right. So I guess I'm going over here then. Yeah, okay. His in-game hair looks terrible. It does. It does. He looks like he's part of fucking like NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys, man. I go back to Lurk now. Enjoy your Lurk Pirates. Hey, Monty. Hello. Okay, do they want me to shoot everybody? Oh, I thought he was waving at me. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? This is kind of fun. I could blow these Imperials all day. Ain't no way he fell backwards like that. Am I gonna mess? I guess I have to zoom in more. It actually has to like say that I've uh, gone over them. That's fine. Easy. Hi, dentist. How are you? How you doing? The last Imperial soldier crumples to the ground, asleep. You put away your blowgun and prepare to rejoin Yugiri.
That seemed a little bit redundant. I knew that was happening, but thank you, game. <laughs> So she said the other side of the river, right? Do I just do I just swim across? Yes. Oh no, I can um I can walk across. Ooh, ether current. Let's go get that. Okay, tell me how. Okay, I was gonna say how is this a weasel? Now that I'm looking at it up front, it looks like a giant sloth. But aren't weasels usually like small? Why would you call this a weasel? It was kind of giving. Like, um, it, it, it does look like a sloth. Oh, I'm looking at its feet now. The other one that was walking, look, it's got like claws like a sloth. Kind of love it. Um, but it looked like a boar for a little bit. I was like, why is there like a red warthog and why are they calling it a weasel? Okay, yeah, let's get this first. Oh, those dragon things are really pretty. I can only assume they'd whip my ass. Well, I guess not if I'm playing Dark Knight because I'm at level 78. Speaking of, let me drink my hot chocolate. I have 335 hot chockies. Look at that. It's like magic. It's like what Magikarp thinks they look like. That's what a Magikarp thinks they look like. Think they look like? Thinks? Think? What the hell are these? Wait. Did I get... Wait. Hold on. Now I'm confused. Because my MSQ is telling me to go over there. What the fuck is up here? I have another side quest up here. Let's, I guess, get this out of the way. Since I'm like already here, right? I may as well. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do though. As I, I am here. Do I have to kill a weasel? Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. I was gonna say, it's kind of tanky, but I'm tankier. Okay, so I guess I don't have to kill the weasel. What quest is this? Wolves and weeds. Find the grandson. Oh, he dead. Oh, grandson dead. He's probably down here somewhere, right? Let's see. Or not. Are you fucking kidding? At the corner? At the literal corner of this- Oh my god, oh my god, it's almost out of the circle. I swear to god, this game. Alright. Okay, now I can continue on with the MSQ. Hey Jay, how are you? Tonight's going pretty good, dentist. I'm feeling a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. And it's still kind of hitting me. I don't know why my breathing is a bit funky. I've been anxious today, for no reason. Um, I'm just having a- I'm just having a weird day. I don't know, it's my first time having caffeine in a while. I've been taking a break, I've mostly just been drinking hot chocolate. Um, and so I had a Coca-Cola today, which I probably should not have had, and so I think it's giving me anxiety. I think that's why I'm feeling really weird. Um, and I only therapy shopped a little bit. I just ordered um, eyeshadow primer, which I never use, and a new lipstick, and that's it. So I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> is it Snaff you? Sarah Popcat. Thank you for the four month resub. Welcome back to the Covenant of Adventures for stay. I have eaten, yes. So it's not related to that. Yeah, caffeine gives me a lot of anxiety, so I can only assume that's what it was. Is fall the best time to visit Canada when the maple trees are turning colors? Yes, fall like Canada and fall is fucking beautiful. Canada is known for it's forests and it's like um what's the word it's nature right so i think for sure um autumn is the best time to be here thanks for the hydration i'll drink real quick the villagers are being held in the castrum to the south fluminous fluminous once, it was the base of operations for the Garlean occupation, until ten or so years ago, when they relocated to Doma Castle. Now, the castrum serves as little more than a storage facility. I spy two sentries near the gate. As you have proven yourself to have impeccable aim, I would ask you to incapacitate them. This very hill should afford you a clear shot. Actually, I'm gonna check my phone real quick, because the anxiety is kind of building. Okay. 
Hi, Cannibal Llama. It's Sylph season? What is Sylph season? Syrah season? Syrah, I'd like to fuck season. <laughs> Hope it just walks away swiftly. I hope so too. Do you ever get that feeling where you're anxious and nothing you digest goes down properly and all you can taste in your mouth are like pennies? You know? I'm currently trying to, I guess, like stress test my anxiety and see if... I can keep streaming, or if I should just do, oh shit, uh, movie night in the server. I don't know what the vibe is. I know I want to hang out with y'all. I'm just trying to go with the flow of my body, I guess. The two sentries slumber side by side. No one appears to be forthcoming. Interesting. No one is even marginally concerned about what just happened. Fine, Red Pepper. You have a gift for the ways of the shinobi. The way is clear. Let us move closer and see what has become of the villagers. My anxiety makes me want to poop. I don't know why. Ooh. <laughs> so I used to get anxiety shits all the time. Not anymore. Anxiety just makes me want to vomit now. Um. Oh my god. I love these guys. They got little feet. I simply cannot eat when anxious that taste in my mouth. Yeah, right? It's so bad. Because it feels like everything I eat is going to make me, like, cough up blood and shit. Oh. Wait. I don't want to fight you guys. You're so sexy. No, you're sexy. Well... So bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did this to you. Can you ever forgive me? Will your people still want me? I know I'm not like a full animal. I'm like a humanoid. But we can make this work. I know we can. It definitely does have something to do with caffeine. Caffeine, unfortunately, provokes a lot of negative, like, attributes. It's great, but not in the long run. I do that too, Jay. I hold my breath as well for some reason. <laughs> no, you're so sexy. Don't hit me. No. You are a cat people and they are wolf people. Y'all are natural enemies. Yeah, but it doesn't always have to be this way. We can make it work, okay? We're like Romeo and Juliet. Thank you, Dentist, for the five gifted subs. Tyra, I give to someone to come to your bedroom to stay. Sir, the on from the other villagers are assembled for inspection. Very good. I will address them personally. <laughs> Attention! Surely you all will be transported to the facility on the distant shore. Your duties, as you have been previously informed, will be rudimentary in nature. Everybody got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you're badge your remotes and your say. On she got caught in that. I love this for her. Thank you, dentist. I really appreciate it. Y'all don't understand. Like, when you guys gift subs, I get so, like... I get so excited. Because not, like, not only does that benefit me, and I know I've said this before, but it benefits the community as a whole. Because people who lurk, who may want a sub, but, like, they don't want the attention, or, like, maybe they can't afford it, they can get one. You know, like, you guys give those lurkers and those people who may not be able to afford subs the ability to participate in, like, community stuff by having emotes and having a cute badge. It's fucking sweet. So... I always really appreciate it. Gifted subs are such a lovely way of not only showing that you care about me, but you care about, like, our community. So thank you. 
More specifically, you will be tasked with the repair and maintenance of various arms and armaments, as well as Magitech devices. Magitech? But we're farmers! We know the first thing about Magitech. It'd take us months, if not years, to learn how to do that kind of work. <coughs> the material in question was damaged with when your kith and kin rose up in rebellion. Therefore, you bear responsibility for its repair. If you cannot perform your duties, you will learn how. If you cannot learn how, then your villagers may find themselves the mercy of the Confederacy and other radical elements. Is that what you want? Jesus! Chill, my guy! Deal with this rabble. I am needed at the castle. God damn. There's no temporary measure. Those men and women will die in servitude. Once they are taken to their other facility, to the other facility, it will be too late. If we are to intervene, we must do so now. Agreed? Huh. Then let us be about it. Aw, shit! We going in? Oh, hey! I wanted these before! And now they're part of the mission! I guess I just have to fucking wait and not buy them. Whatever. I'll grab them again. You keep dribbling. Wait, what's going on here? See, I really like this expansion because I think the story is a good telling of what it's like inside occupied lands. I guess. Yigiri is in her element. <laughs> I love that. I think my problem is that like certain tropes I find are super, super overdone. And so when I play a game or I watch a TV show with something that is overdone and it's already also something that doesn't appeal to me i just don't enjoy it as much as i probably should because of that but you know to each our own right the anime expansion stop oh my god i have this one friend who is like a super super big weeb to the point where like they really love like east asian culture you know those type um and this is like one of their fave X-Packs. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Then drink caffeine is normalized in society because it increases work productivity, but the anxiety it creates is a double-edged sword. Yeah, like cocaine. <laughs> uh, despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To wit, we must infiltrate the cast room without raising the alarm. Alarm? The alarm! <laughs> I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. Alrighty. Wait, I keep- all these other mini side quests keep fucking popping up and I gotta finish them. I legit could never do cocaine because my anxiety would have me literally explode. LITERALLY! Guys? <laughs> okay, I'm having- Ooh, okay, I'm having an episode. Um, I'm having the- the- the, the the penny feeling um, or taste rather and I can feel my entire body seizing up um, 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 I can't really move I want to like switch the BRB screen but I kind of can't um, so we're just gonna sit here for a second while I tick a little bit because I don't like this and I know there's nothing wrong, and I know my gums bleed, I know that's the case, and half the time whenever I taste pennies in my mouth, it's because for whatever reason I irritated my gums, and then they're bleeding, and so by their fourth, whatever, I'm tasting that, but I, uh... And now, I have to do the thing where I don't cough because I'm anxious to cough now. Mm. Yeah, I need fresh air? I don't need fresh air. That's not gonna help. Oh. Why does this part of me hurt? I'm so- if, I'm so sore here for some reason. slept funny, I don't know. There's also a big reason why I don't eat some meat, because sometimes, depending on the meat, I also get that feeling in my mouth. I'm just gonna drink some water.
Thanks, chat. Hi, Vosk. Vosk and friend. Uh, Because every time I get, like, that taste, I get, like, an entire, like, I get, like, a heat flash, basically, or a hot flash, rather. And like every part of me just gets all like, uh. I feel like I need to get a snack to like counter it. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm making hot chocolate. Um, I have a bunch of cream puffs. So Elise is not getting any because Elise sucks. They are. He smells the cream. You can't have me. You just shit your pants. You'll literally shit. They're really yummy. So they're like this, right? There's little dough balls that have cream in them. And they're really light. See? What's on this blue's face? So, I think it's actually a skin condition. I have to get it checked out. Because no matter how many times I clean this area, this one spot, it keeps coming back. So I think he might have like a little skin condition. Right there. And I don't know what the fuck that is. I used to think it was just dirt. I'm not doing so good, Selimane, but like, I'm- I'm chillin'. Five gifted subs. Thank you. Oh my god. I thought that said Django feet. Oh my god. <laughs> like Django Fett's feet? Instead of just Django Fett? <laughs> Thank you. I have a problem. I wouldn't be able to close that lid. Yeah, normally same. Thanks for the gifties to everyone who got a sub in the corner to buy too much in your state. Dog's gooby. Boba feet. Boba feet? So, chat, I have a question. I'm kind of hungry again. Do I make food or do I order food? I don't want to order food. I'm kind of feeling lazy. Get a salad? I could just make a salad. I have everything I need to make one. But I want something hot. You look so comfy. You're right. I'm very cold. All of a sudden. Those cream puffs colded me. Colded me? Hi Slater! A hot salad? Okay, I will say one of my like salad turnoffs is when they put like hot chicken in it. You know, like. Why is it hot? Why is the meat hot? Toss a coin for it. The only thing I toss a coin for is my Witcher. How's that hot chocolate coming along? It's right here. Because they cook it so their customers don't die. But like, why does it have to be like hot? Good night, Selimane. You know, like hot, hot? It doesn't have to be like scalding. I should get hot cocoa when I go to the store later. You should. Chat, I'm really cold. I'm gonna get cozy. Can we all get cozy? I think my anxiety is making me like really cold. I don't actually think it's the cream puffs. Oh, I have to fix Orshafon's apron again. 
Stop turning away, boy. I need food. Well, I am hungry. But I'm not like hungry, hungry. I hope you feel better. Thank you, Fegs. Okay. I just shiver post anxiety attack. I usually shiver during the anxiety attacks, yeah. Am I pizza hungry? I haven't had pizza in a hot minute. I could be pizza hungry. Chat, what do I eat? What do I order, chat? Ramen? I already had- I had spicy ramen! And it gave me the shits! I don't think I can get biryani at this hour. I think my only options are burgers. <laughs> oh, there's a pita place. And they close at 2.30. Chicken on the rice bowl? Chicken shawarma platter? Falafels? I can eat falafels. I can eat the lollafels. Oh. I could go for a chicken shawarma pl a pot platter. Ooh, or a shawarma wrap? Oh, fuck. I don't make the rules. I just shit them. Bowl of hummus? <laughs> Look at that. In my mouth. I mean, I could also just make that. Let's see. What else is here? Do y'all remember when my tooth was in pain for like three days and all I could eat or all I could have or drink, I guess, was soup? Y'all remember that? I was ordering soup and making soup every day. My roti p Oh, shut the fuck up. There is this place called My Roti Place. And... Are you fucking with me? It's like a roti wrap. Or whatever. Bitch. Oh my god. It, it actually looks so good. Hold on. Okay. That's my friend's boobs. Dude, their menu kind of slaps. Mango and pistachio cheesecake? Yo. <gasps> hey, Liz, what's up? Dude, I. Okay, Drood? I meant, dude, I could also eat soup every day. I fucking love soup. Soup is underrated. Soup is fucking underrated. My mom, she would always make me doll and I would drink it every day. Good shit. Good shit. Do I get biryani? Should I get biryani? Their biryani looks really yummy. Which color doll is your favorite? Uh, yeah, the yellow one. <laughs> I froze a huge batch, uh, batch of doll in portions every now and then. And every now and then I find one in the freezer like jackpot. That's a really fucking good idea. I should start like meal prepping some doll. I've been so sleepy this week. I think I need more iron. You know what? Chat. Very quick. So 
as you say that, Liz, now that it's getting darker outside, please remember it's going to you will not be getting the vitamins that you need to stay happy because the sun is disappearing. Please, please, please take care of yourself and please remember that. So if you start noticing that you're getting sleepier or you're feeling sadder, it's because of that. Okay. It's simply because of that. So eat. So so eat regularly. Okay. Take your naps if you need them. Don't overdo it. And start taking some vitamin supplements if you can. If you can get your hands on any that are healthy for you. Yeah, you need that vitamin D. I know we be slacking and lacking. I don't always meal prep. I like to, but I'm not consistent enough with, like, making food. It kind of sucks. But yes. Take care of yourself, y'all. It's about to be fucking, like, depression season. I think I'm gonna get biryani. There is something on here that's just called mom and her veggies. I'm ordering mommy? I can get mommy to go? Wait, dad's potato roti? Wait, I actually love this place all of a sudden. No fucking shit. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god, this chat looks so good! Holy fuck! I can make that though. Should I try the create your own roti? Yeah, they have lassie. Should I try the create your own roti? Mommy and veggies, the hot salad you found it. No! I waste so much food if I meal prep because after eating something twice, my appetite will, cr will crater. I am cursed. See, my problem is my OCD. If something is in my fridge for a little too long, I have to throw it out. Do it, but also, hi, how are you? Classic roti. Turmeric roti? Let's see. Paneer. Let's see. Creamy nutty korma, green spinach sauce, mom's classic curry, superior butter, butter masala, tangra haka. Ooh, tangra haka chili? One. Tangra. What is, what is tangra? Is that a place? Okay, I look it up and the first thing that comes up is Tangra Haka Chinese restaurant. Okay. So. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. Man. Robust spice vindaloo. Do I want Haka chili? Do I want vindaloo? What the fuck is green spinach sauce? Do they mean like sog paneer? Joined in on some banger looking food. What better way to join in? I've said worse things on stream, so. A lot of people were coming in when I was talking about people having two buttholes, so. They call them saga sauce? That apparently so. They're trying to, like, the entire menu is like, it's like, it's Indian food, or it's like South Asian food, but like make it mainstream you know like make it hip which honestly i'm okay with because i'm kind of like i don't know what green spinner sauce is supposed to mean but i'm i am i am kind of feeling this <laughs> i am kind of feeling it because they're not really like taken away from like the names of these dishes they're just adding a little like western non-spice to it <laughs> It's in the curry section. See? I kind of want to try this though. I really like Hakka food.
That or the butter masala. Yeah, but spinach sauce? Oh my god! Choose your spice level! Mild, medium, serious, stupid! Dude! I fucking love this place! I think I love this place! No fucking way! I would pick stupid normally, but I already had bad shits today. Sog Paneer sounds like a dragon from Storm. <laughs> Don't kill me. Do I get Mango Lassie? You already know. You already know. We were literally just talking about that. You already know. Alright. So I'm getting the, the chicken dum biryani boneless. I'm getting the... My super butter... Masala... With paneer... Roti wrapped, uh, whatever the fuck that is, and the mighty yellow doll. Bet. All right, back to the game chat. For a mercy, you spy no imperial patrols bound for the castrum. A hawk's cry pierces the silence. Yugiri is waiting. All right, chat. Let's get through this. I'm feeling a little bit better. Thanks for being patient with me. I just had to like let it like I had to let that like feeling just kind of like leave my my system for a little bit, you know? Damn, she went to town. Speak softly. Let's see others hear us. What of the outside? This hydrate counts as a lassie order. I'm not ordering lassie. I do want mango lassi, to be honest, but I didn't order any. Thanks, Bars. That is good. We may proceed as planned. These ones shall not soon wake. However, the others are too close to the villagers. Incapacitating them as I did these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a solution presents itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an Imperial soldier and convince them that a changing of the guard is in order. If you ever pick up uniforms, they shall not protest. What the fuck? Um. Um. What? Well, I don't think any of these are gonna fit me. I guess, like, the strapping soldier would fit, but for fun, I'm gonna try the spindly soldier. <laughs> Attending to wear this uniform might force you to con confront certain uncomfortable realities. You could call me honey! Dentist. For your meal tonight. Dentist, thank you for the $25 ruse. I appreciate it. You just covered, I think, half of it. Thank you. The stocky one? This uniform is far too large for you to wear and um, uh, to wear comfortably. Okay, I feel like fucking Goldilocks. This uniform appears to be more or less your size. Alrighty. I feel like that was a given, but I thought I'd try anyways. <laughs> With all due care and consideration, you relieve the sleeping soldier of their uniform. Do you have a big dick, though? I shall hide these ones where none will find them. Yeah, girl. Hide the bodies. God, Pepper is so pretty. I love her. Our sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in their bunks. Oh, and while I was in the barracks, I happened upon, upon these spare uniforms. In case the items in your position are not to your liking. So you're telling me that I stripped a man, had his junko in my face, and you just found spare uniforms for me to wear? I did all that for naught? Girl. 
Gimme them. Alright. So... Is it... What is it? This? And then... Do I have to, do I have to put on everything? Are there more? I don't... I guess the pants? And the feet? Is my head okay? I guess my head is fine. Doesn't seem like I need to actually put anything on there. I think- I think I'm- I look kinda hot! Damn! Okay, girl! This Kabuto and Teko Shimash to Uwagi, Hakama, and Choka in your possession. Oh, I guess this is the rest. And with that, you have a full set. I'm sure that once you change, it will seem as though it was bespoke. You will need to give the soldiers guarding the villagers a proper imperial salute to complete the to complete the deception and convince them to come here, where I'll be waiting to deal with them. Oh God. Now I gotta make sure I have enough to buy more plushies. Absolutely, we gotta hit that goal. For those of you that don't know, I am currently um, creating plushies of mini me. I currently have the Kickstarter going on makeshift.com. We have sold just over 50. We need to sell 200. So if you haven't already, go purchase a little plushie. That way they can all get made and you can all get a mini me. And everybody that purchases one will get a free trial code for my fan house, which means you get 30 days of access to all of my spicy content and goodies. You just have to DM a moderator your receipt and I will get you that, or we will get you that code immediately. Woo! What's a plushie? I'm a plushie. I'm baby. The only way that anyone can get their plushies is if we hit the goal, which does kind of suck so we gotta grind it out okay hold on my little cat ears oh my fucking god look at that look at those cat ears i am dead Alrighty, let's go what the fuck is that It's level 70. Oh, I am new. Oh, I have to salute, right? A serpent salute and grail salute. My character can even wear the helmet? How come? There's one variant of plushy, or am I bonkers? What do you mean, Jay? This time already, not that I'm complaining, mind, but I thought the others would be gone longer. Oh yes, because I'm swapping positions with them, right? Oh, that's it? It was that easy? Oh, I guess I have to do it to both of them then. Oh, the Vieras can't wear them? Oh yeah, they can't. So what? Is it invisible on him? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Hi, Edible Mon, how are you? I'm all right, I'm having a little bit of an anxiety attack, but I ordered some yummy food, so I'm a little happier now. Wait, one second, chat. You got any male plushies with a smile on their face? No, it's just me. Remember, it's only temporary, unless it's not, but I'm sure it won't be, right? Listen. Listen, everything is temporary if you believe it's temporary, okay? Just like life. Life is fleeting. All right, so I think I have to go back to Yugiri? Yes, yeah, with Yugiri, okay. Let's see. These ones shall sleep soundly along with the others. My god, she just fucking put those two to sleep too? And with that, there are no more soldiers to, to trouble us. You can dispose of that accursed uniform too. It's time to guide the villagers to freedom. Yes, thank you. I don't want to wear this anymore. I mean, it's kind of cute, but like, it ain't for me. It ain't, it ain't my aesthetic. 
Okay, I kind of want to fight that thing. I want to see what it does. Will that blow my cover in any way? Okay, so it's not as intriguing as I thought it would be. Oh, what's this ability? Holy shit! It unloads a bunch of teeth! Oh my fucking god! Okay, interesting. Jesus. Okay, that thing's cool. This is kind of a cool, funky enemy. Loki, sort of into it. And you should be dead now. And that didn't blow my cover. We ball. Captured villager. All right. Aren't you cold? You got the thankred hair and everything. No wonder you look like that. Everyone else looks all cozied up. Homeboy over here in fucking booty shorts. Goddamn. Oh man, they're all beat up. Yeah, I saved your Listen ass. Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. Okay, this positioning, some shit's about to happen with that wall. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? No. Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. <laughs> to stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live. Or has that too been That's beaten out of, of you? Is this what has become of Doma? Oh my God. Oh my God, you Geary. Damn, she's so dominant. Oh my God. Mommy? You gotta go home to your sister, man. You were Lord Heon's retainer. Trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this. All of this. But we can't do a damn thing to change it. And trying will only make it worse. Girl, so I did all that. I wore that existence. stanky ass uniform. It's all we got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it... it doesn't help. All right? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elder, your face. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles. Too much lost. Our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are a salt in our wounds. Aww. Well, pack it up. Going home. Sorry, you Geary. They only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this. Wait, we're brothers literally and sisters packing of it Doma. up and going home? I didn't actually mean for that. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. 
My lord? My lord prays you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. She gonna die. She's gonna die saving, like, Doma. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Oh, are they... Are they running away? Wait, it worked? They're going? Oh. Hmm. Why would you... After everything? Oh. He's going anyways. Like, I'm sorry, but I'd rather die trying rather than cowering and hiding. I know, that's the- that's the mindset I have, too. Because, like, what if it works, you know? Even if it's, like, a small percentage. Yugiri is at a loss for words. Oh, literally dot dot dot. <laughs> Mount speed in Yangsha has increased? Hell yeah. Apologies, Pepper. I was lost in thought. Mayhap they have the right of it. Mayhap we are fools for urging them to rise once more. Yet I believe, I have to believe, that in their heart of hearts, they, they still... Now is not the time. We must finish what we started. I have in my possession a powerful medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers ere they wake. The medicine will leave the soldiers confused and able to clearly recall recent events. I'm literally drugging these men. They will suspect that they fell asleep at their posts and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure, but we dare not kill them for the sake of the villagers. Tend to the last who I put to sleep. I shall see to the others. Alright. How does she have all these shenanigans up her sleeves? Where is she storing all of this? Good night, Elijah! Sleep well. For me, it's more what might happen to my family that would stop me. I'd pay the price for my actions, but they shouldn't have to. You know... You know, I guess, like, context would be super important then, right? Yeah, if it meant my family suffering, I would endure it. And if I die, I die. But... If I didn't have anything to lose, I'd fucking bolt. Wait, what? <laughs> Mother, is that you? Yes, it's mommy. Did you miss me? Yugiri out here with the with the roofies. I know, right? All right, let's see. So I'm gathering them. What am I doing? Find a suitable place. So you're telling me that Pepper right now technically has one soldier over one shoulder and the other soldier over the other shoulder? That's a fucking tongue twister. One soldier on one shoulder, one soldier on the other shoulder. Well, soldier, shoulder, soldier, shoulder, soldier, shoulder, 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 boulder. Okay, let's see. Where am I dumping them? Where are they going? Girl, what if they fumble and fall off this cliff? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Alright, guess I'm dumping the bodies here. to go home. Okay, search for you, Gary. She's over there. Okay, let's get on my mount. Oh, I am a little bit faster. Okay. He's 
down here. Pepper lifts, she does. She does. I mean, she's got to wield that claymore somehow, right? <laughs> Her weapon is proof. Exactly. Exactly. See this shit? She's dazed. <laughs> it's just me, babes. Forgive me for making you search. It's okay. Oh. I like that animation. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth, I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. Oh, that area we were in, right? Yeah, I think I knew that, right? I did know that. To think that you were there, that you even yeah. spoke with my mother and father. Yeah, I did. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. Oh, I hope I can get them to reunite. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. I don't know if that's a good thing, Pipes. Seems a little unhealthy. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gozetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. What? But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind, that they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good. We are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. That's beautiful. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. Together we are strong and we must carry on. It will not always be so. I'll just quote him. Maybe my optimism will make you happy. That you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen. It heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. Naive together, baby. Ignorance is bliss. Oh, oh shit. Who do you hear? Looks like a bull. An Imperial airship. 
It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. Yes. Okay, we go. I love her hair. Her braids are so nice. Her, like, braid ponytails. Her pony braids. Her braidy tails? Oh. <gasps> My food is almost here. Alright, let's see. Where do we go? Good. Very good. Um, so how do I get there? <laughs> Oh, I go underwater here, right? Yeah, 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 I have to swim. I swim and I pop up on the other side or some shit like that, right? Or I pop up in a cave, I think. Oof. Oh, my knee is hurting. I'll be fine, though. Okay, let's see. Let's go down here. Let's go. Oh, it's here. It's here, it's here, it's here. I did it, I did it. Oh, Fukata, hello. I can pick up a quest while I'm at it, why not? Uh, Fukata hopes you enjoy foul odors. Um, is he gonna fart on me? Oh. Sprinkle the bucket of smelly liquid at the designated locations. No, I'm. I think I'm good. I'm. I'm good. Thanks, though. All right. Okay. Let's get to that unattuned etherite. I'm assuming Alize got Alfino to come, and so by the time that I get there, it should have been remade? Question mark or I don't know how they'd be able to remake such a big like etherite, but. We'll see what happens. Are you new to Final Fantasy XIV? I am. I absolutely am new. I've been playing for the last, like, year. <laughs> and I'm still clueless. And I'm still really early on. Come, come. We must tell the others of this airship or hear what they know of it. You mean Dark Knight? I am. I fucking love it. Wait, what did I miss? There you are. What happened? Are the villagers all right? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Oh Can yeah, that's why the it? music's intense. <laughs> so stupid. Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. You mean Spaghetti Head? We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotsuyu governs Doma, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current Zenos situation or in person. Xenos. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. Well, we now have she seen said Xenos. Firsthand what he can do. His she power just said defies Xenos. explanation. She, was she always saying, I don't he know. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. A proper challenge. Oh. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. Suddenly I'm nervous. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. True. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi. And thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. See, she's got this like badass, well, this I'm tough as fuck, revenge. like facade going on. To she's gonna path, die. For I myself crave that same vengeance. She's gonna but die. But to pull steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. 
What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. I love her. Even love should her you so succeed, Xenos' death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. I guess you could say Can we defend our people Duma. against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! That's really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll take my leave. Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! Tell him. You carry wait! No, she's angry. Let her have her angry walk. What now? No dialogue option there? All right. I think my food is here, so hopefully there isn't another cutscene right here. Oh, perfect. Okay, chat, give me one sec. Let me, um, snag my goods. Oh, wait a second. It says he's at the door. But it's like the map is saying otherwise. And it's like, it's saying that he's like circling around, like he's not actually here, but he is. I think the map just hasn't opened in. You're gonna pee then open a pack of dunkers? Bet. I still love the cult outfit, as you should. If anyone needs a cult outfit, just ask. I can get more. Me finding the urge to log in and follow Syra around? Please do. I, yeah, what, um, perfect concept. I love it when people follow me around. I don't know, it's so fun, like, Prime example, Vosk, hilarious. Love them. My food is here. And every so often, I'll like go somewhere in the MSQ and in the distance, I'll just see Vosk like waiting for me doing dumb shit. Makes me so happy. All right, my foodie's here. My seki.
Okay, chat. So I have the food, okay? So it's literally like a... I don't know what it's called, but it's literally just like stuffed roti. And it tastes pretty good. So it's like stuffed roti with buttered chicken inside. Whew. Alrighty. Should I order an early dinner? What time is it for you, Ember? But I think you absolutely should. Alright, okay. Back to the game. What are these? Oh, these pants are cute. They're kind of they're kind of nice. I don't think I guess like the dragoon stuff would be good. I'll probably use that with my dragoon. Because it did just reach level um 64. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I look ridiculous, but we ball. All right. All warriors must choose their own path, as Gosetsu well knows. I will not pursue her. It is for it was for her to think on her on our master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Those at least are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. Okay, so this is the story's way of telling me to give chase, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to eat this with my hands, like a proper Indian girl. But the problem is, it's really messy. I don't know if I'll be able to. Mm. It's so messy. It's so, 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 so messy. I need a napkin. Shit. Oh, I have some. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. It's like, it's so, it's like gonna overflow. Look at it. Mmm. It's so good. But it's so hot. Mmm. Okay. I'm making progress. Oh my god. It's, al it's already falling apart. Oh no. What if I took a bite out of the other side? Which I know usually isn't the right idea. It's not the right thing to do, but fuck it. That was all bread. That was just roti. Oh no. It's spilling. Oh my god, it's spilling out! It's ripping! <laughs> Hello, Jay. Oh my god. If I was sitting on my couch, I would tear this apart. But because I'm at my PC, I think I already got some on my chin. Gotta, like, use a fork to help me. Mm. It's so good. This is exactly where I need to chat. Oh my god. I hate that I'm using a fork, but I gotta... Mmm. 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 It's nearly 3 p.m. Oh, just have like, um, have a late brunch or a late lunch then. Yeah, the messier the Indian food is, the better it is. My Dunkaroos makes me feel like a kid watching shows again. I'm gonna trade a Pokemon for Syra. Hell yeah. Ben! Hi, Bean. I need to sleepy for 530 work morning, but Illy. Chat, behave yourselves and have good night. 530 work morning illy thank you for the resub ben i love you i hope you're doing well i hope work is going well sleep well mm. all right 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry chat, I gotta eat this. This is so good. Do you ever get certain food? And eating it makes you feel like you've transcended. That like you need to sing, you need to dance. You get a boost of like dopamine. That's me right now. Eating this? I think this is straight up the yummiest thing I've ever had. So the ramen place that I usually get ramen from, they removed my favorite ramen dish off their, like, menu. So I've been meaning to find, like, the next best thing. I think I just did. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. I have died and gone to heaven. There's no other explanation for this. And normally I'm not into squeaky cheese, but this one kind of slaps. Mm. Alright chat, I'm gonna just take a couple more bites, and then we'll return to the game. And we'll go chase Yugiri. Because I can only assume that's what the game is gonna make me do now. I feel like the drama is finally happening. It's picking up the pace. Mm. I have a gift welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. Alrighty. I like gifts. Hog the ears it out. Yeah, that means we're doing the story, baby. I'm afraid to eat an infant right now. I had a really good chicken biryani, but man, it fucked me up and I made the mistake of trusting a fart. No! went down the wrong way <coughs> and it brought the roti down with it oh my god wait Kelsey are you openly admitting that you shot your pants <laughs> and you weren't even home oh man girl I am so sorry at the ripe age of 30. Girl, I am so sorry. I thankfully don't think I've ever actually shot myself. But one of my best friends, not too long ago, um, like on her way home from my place, had the same experience. But she had to take the train for like an hour or two. So she was shitting. Well... She was sitting in shit for like two hours. So, you know, it could always be worse. Oh. <sighs> I usually get pretty bad poops, but like, it depends on what spices I'm eating and what like mixture of food I'm eating as well, you know? Ooh. My legs are really hurting, chat. 
Oof. We each have but one life, and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. Oh, my legs are killing me, chat. I'm really glad that I'm home right now, to be honest. And I'm glad that I'm not out, because this is kind of brutal. What up, Liz? Alrighty. He's down here. Oh, didn't someone have a gift for me? Is it? <laughs> is it you? Oh my god, are you a Lollafell? Hello! What's this? Ooh, I can't use it yet. I'm getting close though. Thank you. I want to be a Lollafell so bad. You're so fucking cute. You're so cute. Oh, hello. I getting head pads? Am I getting head pads? Oh no, you were head padding him. How dare y'all? Man, I. So, I don't know how many of y'all. I don't know how many of y'all um, know this. <laughs> Maybe some of y'all know this. But I originally had Peppermint as a Lollafell. And her name wasn't Peppermint either. I think it was something else. But she was a Lollafell. And, you know, I was thriving. I think she had, like, white hair or something. White hair, brown eyes, or white hair, blue, uh, red eyes, I think. And then my friend just just showing up on a fucking Rathalos as you do anyway and then my friend was like you should join the cat army because he's a cat girl and I was like man do I have to I'm already an e-girl and then oh <laughs> and then I realized how much I loved being a cat girl, and so now I'm stuck as a cat girl. I'll play a Lollafell instead of do Aura, but a friend convinced me otherwise. See, same, but other way around, kinda. I really want to be a Lollafell, so I will live. Why is my boy? What are you doing to my boy? You're gonna run my boy over? Or maybe he's going for a ride, but that's not really a safe place to sit. Enjoy the sword, Ashale. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I give you. I give you. I give you. I give you. I give you a kiss. A little kiss for you. Alright. Let's go speak to you, Kiri. You give you in the thingy. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot I could do that. Where is that? This. <gasps> what? Oh! Wait. Wait. Oh! That's so cool! <laughs> this is so cool! Oh my god, look at the little look at the little butterflies and like the bubbles. Thank you! That's fucking dope! I'm two levels away from being able to use that. Wee ball. <laughs> Did Gosetsu send you to stop me? No, I came here on my own, um, uh, fruition. Then you came of your own free will? Yep. I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it is not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Just a scant moment ago, I received the crown prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. So it seems that Xenos has no desire to remain in Doma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates this very eve. His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yotsuyu uh, no time to prepare. The whole castle is in state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort and will be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. The Kami could not have blessed us with more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, Pepper. I will. You mean we will kill him? Not alone. 
With me by your side, bitch. I know the odds. I know what he is capable of. And that in an open confrontation, I will likely die. But if I do not, if I succeed, then countless lives will be saved. Doma, El Amigo, everything will change. One life for that world is a price I would pay a thousand times over. What? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you mean to join me? Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yuzuka Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. Alrighty. That little shit. Stay calm. No one knows you were here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebels plotting. Kill the crown prince. Gah, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know how this ends. And they only have themselves to blame. You have to tell them. You have to. What if I kill this kid? Hi, Anna. What's up? Um, so you guys want me to sheathe and unsheathe it? Oops. Why? What am I? What's the surprise? What's the surprise? The rainbow? But I'm far into it? You think I'm far into it? Oh, the color does change. Oh, yeah. That's really neat. I like that. I was like, who the fuck is walking here? What NPC is this? <laughs> are we going? Are we going on an adventure? You're pretty far into Stormblood. I am? Thank God. <laughs> Thank fuck. Okay, we're like, oh, no. No, I have to actually commute now. Wait, what's here? Oh, the bucket liquid quest thing. I guess I could do some of it like on the way, you know? the last time I saw which was a bit ago well yeah I'm further in I would just like to be done with this expansion <laughs> oh. that is fucking amazing I have three more patches oh Liz oh you're or oh, you're close to finishing it you have three more patches. Oh my god, what? what? This is a still a level seven, uh, 64 quest. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. My ears. My ears. Wait. Serious Seal, you know dentist? Why is the world so small? Peter! Holy heck, 21. Dude, 21 months? They no way. Peter, thank you so much for the 21 month resub. How are you, Bean? I've been taking a long time to do the MSQ. You're telling me. Oh, oh, this is the friend that you were talking about? Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Welcome. How are you, pal? I love it when people like bring their friends to like watch my stream and then they like watch my stream together. My simp army is just growing and I love it. <laughs> Hello! Down bad, fighting for my life right now? Yo, same. Aren't we all though? Aren't we all a little down bad? Thank you for the hydration, Anna. Top three worst weeks of my life? Wait. Oh, top three worst week of my life. What happened? Spill the tea. Give us the hot gossip. What the fuck is this? She's kind of hot. She... Goddamn. I'm so sorry, mommy. 
You made me mess up my rotation. I got nervous. Oh. I wasted my ability. Or did I? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. While it's still up. Oh, wait. Are you static? Do you not move? Come here. Okay, it's gone now. I wasted that. <laughs> Hey, ball. Think about playing Alala? I can't change Peppermint. I can't. She's my she's my OC now. She's my little my little bean. I do have an alt, however. <clears throat> Alright, this is gonna take too long. I have an alt account called Green Onion. And it's a little Lollafell with green hair and green eyes. So that counts, right? My other friend sims for you, but she doesn't watch Twitch. I'll take it. I absolutely accept that. Oh my fucking god, the little fellas. Oh my god, I love these fuckers. Wait, can I buy anything here? Do you have anything cool? You have hats and stuff that I could just buy in the marketplace? <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing this, uh, this pin. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, I'm not wearing it right now, but it's usually part of, uh, the armor that I'm wearing. Like, my armor set. My armor set. My, my glam. Oh, these boots are cute. These kind of look like the ones that I'm wearing right now, are they? I think they are. Oh my god, he's in a pot! Oh my god, he's in a pot! I want- can I get in a pot with you? I wanna get in a pot. Can I get a pot mount? Oh! Orshapon's just chilling on him. Orshapon, can I put you in a pot? Can you go in a- Oh! I'll take it. <laughs> okay, was I not supposed to be in here? No, this is not the right area. But- I am glad that I stumbled upon this area nonetheless. Wait, can I hop on this? Can I hop on this with you? Wait a minute. I cannot. I cannot. That's unfortunate. Oh! Are you gonna- are you gonna be my uber? I'm good. We're gonna- we're gonna take the scenic route. Thank you though. Ooh, I can unlock this area up here though real quick. I have not finished the Halloween event, no. I missed the final yellow side quest to go to the haunted house thing. I just did that today. Wait, what? Am I missing something? Wait, I'm not understanding what you're saying to me, Anna. I do want to finish it, though. I have until, like, November 1st, right? Probably do it offline. Oh, there's a Geary. Perf. This is far enough. Let us discuss our plan of attack. My friend forgot to do the Halloween event before they're so far. No! No! Oh, that fucking sucks! Alright, if it's really short, then yeah, I'll just do it offline. You missed my team message? I'll just text you? Oh. Brother, everything. Someone sent my bad photos to my parents and friends. Got my bank account hacked and wiped clean. Two days later, work ban broke down today. Bro. Dude, okay. So I don't know. I don't know how much of y'all are into, like, astrology and astronomy. But the moon is in Scorpio right now, apparently. Which is not a good thing. And if you have Scorpio in your chart, you're fucked. So, apparently everything is about to fall to shit. The guy that I was talking to ghosted me. Um, and so far everything else seems peachy. So... Hold on to your horses, because it's not going to get any better. Oh my god, me on the ropes! I believe in you. I believe in you, Peter. You'll make it through this. Zeno's itinerary is as follows. He will depart Dome Castle by ship and approach the Moon Gates. 
The magitech field will be deactivated briefly, allowing his vessel to pass. It will then continue on to these very docks where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is better suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Oh, shit's about to fucking pick up, huh? As Scorpio jokes on you, my life was already shit. It ain't gonna get better, babes. You know what? At least you're not gonna be, like, surprised. This is just your life. Everything just sucks. Alright. Let's see. There's apparently a suitable hiding place, pl place, place somewhere here. Oh, I guess it's in here somewhere. I think this is the manor she was speaking of. Hello? Hello? We ball? We vibe? So for those of you in the chat right now that are not part of an FC, if you are on Crystal Goblin, then you can join my little FC. I got one. It's small, but it's cozy. And we don't have a home yet. I'm working on that. Um, yeah, so you can just like ask me and I'll and find me in game and I can send you an invite to the company And if you can't find me just look for pepper font or Yeah, pepper font agreement One of us will give you an invite You Gary is so brave like what if I find Xenos in the street? I love her her confidence. I want that. I need that I'll be joining soon. I'm down bet I'm transferring off Crystal to the new data center. No! How could you, Anna? Surrounded by walls and deserted, this location appears to be ideal for concealment. All my stuff transfers? Yeah, don't worry, Pars. Ah, there you are. No, 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 no. How's the audio, by the way, chat? Is it loud enough? Hmm, from the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled. We shall lie in wait here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, he shall fall with my first blow. If not, then the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. His escort is of no co uh, consequence, which means that we will have a two-to-one advantage. Nevertheless, he is not to be underestimated. I am... nervous. I am... Nervous. My FC died while I was away for two months. Well, you know what to do. You join ours. All that remains to wait. I trust you are ready. Alrighty. Level 66. I'm about to fuck some shit out, baby. Oh my god, I'm scared. The drama. Is this where Yugiri dies? No, because now they're making it too obvious. She's not gonna die. But you know, I didn't think Orshafont would die, so hmm. I don't know what to expect anymore. <laughs> he comes. He looks so goddamn thick in that armor. Is his body actually built like that? Is he banging? The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. His armor looks like that one... Thing that I had to fight mm, at the end less of a, a province than a graveyard. The rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes. Yes, of course, my lord. I, 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 and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. That was kind of unnecessary. I don't think he needed that. This brown nose. We labored long to sow the seeds right. of hatred, of fear, 
to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Gaius, yes. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood. Yeah, I guess all and not hollow eyed prey cowering right? in the dark. Or there will be no joy in this hunt. Oh my god, she's so quick. <coughs> Ambush! Ambush! Shinobi? And me without my brute. How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyan! For Doma! Ah! Girl, I was not subtle in the slightest with my approach. Me and my fucking glowing claymore May that I, is bigger than I me. I this new blade of yours. Pepper! Let it to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. That's his holster? God damn. I can't tell if she's happy or not. <laughs> then again, I'm loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come, earn the honor. I do kind of like his ego. Fucking flashbang! Good lord! Okay. Here I go! Oh, shit. Oh, there's a... There's a... There's a whole... Yeah. There's a whole fucking load of them. God damn. And they're all... Oh, can I... Am I doing any fucking damage to these guys? No? Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Just weak? Weak? That's your only voice line? Just weak? Oh, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? What is that? What is that? No. Can you give me a second? I gotta drink my hot chocolate real quick. Thank you. Oi, 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 oi! Ah! No. 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 Oh no! Ah! This day you die! I don't think that's happening. Leave this to me. Something tells me that's not happening. Yeah. Okay, there's only three more gold soldiers though, so that's pretty good. Make them focus, babes! Oh wait. Oh! Wait! Uh I thought that had something to do with my ability! Oh no, 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 no. Down for the count. I mean Count Dracula, yeah, I ain't down for this one. No, I must fight on. I must. Oh no, is she dead? Did he fuck her up? Bro. I didn't even get to kiss her yet. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, all his HP? Wait, ho! Oh, boy! Uh, sir, you're 
cheating. He's fucking cheating. He's using hacks. Give me something to remember. Okay. Oh. Something to remember? Oh. Yeah. Why do you gotta say it in that tone? Hold on. Oi, oi, oh god, oh, oh, oh god! <laughs> I did everything I could. I literally did everything I could. <laughs> ah, I remember you, Al Amigo, the champion did I? of the savages. No way I called it. No way. Wait. Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. What the fuck? Is, what is this? Is it the kid? Did the kid just throw a little dagger or something at him? Wait, did I throw a dagger? Wait, what was that? Wait, what What just happened? I don't know what that was. Oh. No, his helmet. It got chipped. Oh. He kind of looks right like I Ashley Tisdale. Your life. What'd you think? That's just Ashley Tisdale. Hear me Not here. even Spaghetti Head anymore. Xenos has Endure. a new name. It's Miss Ashley. Survive. Live. <laughs> for the rush of blood. For the time between the seconds. Live. For the sole pleasure. Left Am to I this wrong? Empty, ephemeral world. Live. Oh, she ain't dead. Yeah! Now she is. You are not worthy. Roll those hair physics. Oh. They got their pitchforks. Get away from them, you imperial dog! Oh, babes. No, don't. You must. You must. They flee. all gonna die. We're not going anywhere. Do you hear me? We're not running away. They're all gonna what die. What you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it. But here we are. They're all gonna fall. I've spent my whole life hating Jeez. myself. For every time they made me beg. For every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. The people I love. And then you came along and reminded Sorry. me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. I would have given anything to forget, to walk away, but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. I like how Ashley Tisdale is just letting him have this moment. But yeah, yeah, let the kid so talk. So came, all of us, for you, for ourselves, for Doma. They did. They did. They did it did. <laughs> death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your lives will not even begin to redress the balance. I cannot look at him and not see Ashley Tisdale now. How wrong you are! I feel like everyone's about to burst into song. Like, everyone is coming. Like, this is the big moment, you know? This is the finale musical piece. The orchestra's gonna build. Go! 
out now! Gazetsu, see to you, Giri. Okay, so I guess they're not dying. Hi. So it's like <sighs> less. I can't see a damn thing. Miz and literally them. more High School Musical. They're quite literally all in this together. See, My and Lord. the bad guy walks away. Goodbye, Ashley Tisdale. You know what? It is kind of given Sharpay. I'm just saying. I don't think we were followed. Gods, I have no idea what was going through that man's head, but I am heartily glad he decided to leave. Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alfie, no. He's at the House of the Fierce, patiently awaiting your gratitude. You should have seen the way he turned pale when he heard about Yugiri's plan, and how you, of all people, had decided to help her. He was in such a panic, barking orders, calling for a squadron to be assembled. As were you. <laughs> Just like Orshifa. Just like Orshifa when he had his panic attack because he couldn't be there with me on the battlefield and he wanted to run out and stop me or join me even. And his knights literally had to hold him back. It was in that moment too that I think I fell in love with him. <laughs> I was rather composed as I recall, though, it is, though that is neither here nor there. Oh man. Ace is beside himself with emotion. Do you believe it? We faced the crown prince himself and lived to tell the tale. You have no idea what this means for us. Everyone's talking about getting more weapons and armor and 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 we're not gonna stop until we've taken back our homeland. Alright, getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We've got wounds to tend to first. We should get back to the village. Okay, little man. Bossing me around. Oh, there's another mission here. Oh, it's that grandson again. Ah, yeah, sorry chat, but am I wrong? He literally looks like Ashley Tisdale. Like he literally, literally. Oh wait, I'm gonna get spoilers, hold on. Um. Um, um, is there like a quick picture of him that I can like look at? Okay, I'm not looking at anything. Don't worry. I'm not looking at anything. I'm not looking at anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah! I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. But, but, is this not just Xenos? Right? Right? Like, the nose is, like, a little different. But, like, this is just- that's just Xenos. That's all I see now. Just Photoshop her eyes blue. Ashley Tisdale with blue eyes. Has no one done this Photoshop? Has no one- is no one gonna do it? Do I have to do it? Do I have to be the one to bite the bullet? I guess it'll have to be me. Don't worry, chat. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it right fucking now. Ashley Isdale. I knew he was pretty, but damn, look. It's not my fault that I had to be the first to notice this. This is Xenos! This is literally Xenos walking up on the battlefield, glammed out as fuck. You cannot prove me wrong. This is how he looks and how he feels when he shows up for battle. Don't worry, Chad, I got you. I will do this. With my dying breath, I will do this. Wow. 
one. I need, a, I need a different picture of her. I need to find a picture of her with, like, longer hair. Alright, chat. It's coming to get her. Walt Hisdale, Zenosdale. Would you call Zenos a strawberry blonde? Right? Platinum blonde? Y'all sure? Because this is platinum. This is his color. He's kind of strawberry blondish. No? And I'm I'm not googling him again. I can't I can't risk looking at the uh the spoilers. Strawberry's more reddish. You're right, you're right. Is he that blonde? It looked kind of orange. What was picking Discord? Yes, please do. Are you gonna post it in the Final Fantasy chat? Dream of Sarah met their end after creating one of the most cursed images ever made on the internet. Combining Xenos and Ashley Tisdale was too much for the collective bandwidth of humanity, and as its origin, they sum summarily met their demise. You're right. And for that, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. I am not sorry in the slightest for doing this. Y'all deserve this. I don't know why you deserve it, but you do. I'm waiting for the pick. All right, it's coming together. I'm so sorry for what I'm doing. I am... I am so sorry. I truly am so sorry for what I'm doing. I wish I could stop myself. chat is this is this your god is this your daddy chat is this your daddy <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
This is who you simp for? This is who you look up Rule 34 fanfiction and photos for? I'm so sorry. I hope Ashley Tisdale never knows that I did this. Do you think she, um, she plays Final Fantasy? Do you think anyone else has ever made this, like, connection? I hope not. <sighs> All right, chat. Back to hell. All right, where am I going? Oh, I gotta go there, right? No, speak with East. Okay, so we're just gonna go back to the Mai. <laughs> Maybe Yoshi P is a high school musical fan. <laughs> Maybe. Do you think they at least, like, paid for her likeness? I hope so. I hope they didn't just, like, steal it from her. We don't want another Ellen Page scenario. <sighs> Hi, Mark! How are you? I just saw a TikTok of her serving matcha. I spawned her. I spoke her into existence. How are you feeling, my lady? Like utter shit? Much the better for my comrades' ministrations and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. This is too good to be true. They're gonna good. get, like, bombed or something. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all, just ask. Like, there's no way it was that easy. There's no way. Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. <laughs> Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Yo, Satsu looks like he's hung. Go, Setsu. Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. Wise words. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. You did good, kid. In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. Me, bitch! That's right. Main character moment. That it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. You're welcome, babes. And there they are! <gasps> Thank God I didn't have to swim again. Twelve be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm irreplaceable, I'm sorry we couldn't be babes. there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. 
I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. Yeah, we kind of knew that would happen. Yeah, like... What? Hello? Yeah, right? You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now <laughs> would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signalled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time with whom I was privileged to share a womb. Alfino! If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising, spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front, may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Hmm. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return. Finally. For there is no surer way to inspire our people to is rise up as one. I want to see more hot people. He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself! It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. Yeah, I don't like Lise. I don't like her either. I think she's really annoying. I will never forget there was that moment when we were visiting, I think that like Alamegan village. No, it wasn't an Alamegan village. One of the first areas that you go to here. And she's all like, oh, but you have to help. You have to help. Blah, 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 our people. And they're all like, our people? You never lived here. You haven't gone through what we've gone through. You never suffered like we did. Who are you to tell us what to do? Blah, blah, blah. And I, I was feeling them. Like, I could not grasp her. She's got, she's got her attitude. She's so, I don't know if it's like, it's like a hint of cockiness and like, naivety. I just don't like it. Good night, Fido. They made points so hard I was on their side. Literally same. I know. It's like... It was so, like, relatable. You know what I mean? It reminded me of all the times when, like, white people will would champion for minorities like myself. And I would sit there and be like... Who are you to talk? You know? I hate it. Like, Lise carries on this baggage of like, Oh my god, my people, my people! While she was sitting pretty as a scion and like impersonating her sister. I get that she's got her own shit going on, but I don't give a fuck. And her story is not like, I, I, like, I don't care about the plot points re like re relative to her, relevant to her. Not my cup of tea. Don't care. She's very out of touch. Very privileged white girl trying to act oppressed. Yes, it's got that. Exactly. See? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. I 
I couldn't, I just, mm. hi Brandon! I just don't give a fuck, and that being said, I'm gonna go talk to her first. I wonder what kind of man Hian is. From what I've heard, he's a, is it Hian or Hian? I don't remember. He's about the same age as me. And then there's Fordola, who isn't a whole lot younger than us both. Like her, he was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's ever known, but unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me to understand a lot of other things. Yeah, you need to learn to understand more things. I can uh, vouch for that. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up the side kiss one here. And I'll pick up this one too if I can, if I have the space for it. Tatsu. Our countrymen's deeds speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on his face. It would be of great comfort to see him again. And no small comfort if you were to join us in the search, I should add. I will be traveling to the Azim Step Pepper. I found Lord Hien once before and I'm confident I can do so again. Moreover, it was to me whom he put the, the question of Doma's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver to him our people's reply. Okay, who's the last person I gotta talk to? Okay, wait, there's a quest here that I can complete. Oh, this is part of this one. Smelly liquid, right? Yeah. Okay, so where's the other person? Back into my TP. And so I have to live my life with my sister, which is like pop off fella, but don't act like you are your sister because her sister actually showed up. Ooh! Yeah, wasn't wasn't that the whole thing too? Like her sister had a backbone and she didn't? Something like that. Oh we had my self-discovery journey. Hashtag it's love, hashtag daily vlog, hashtag live love love. Stop! The beloved king returned to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you'd ever hear in Charlien or Ulda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Mm-hmm. That lets you speak from personal experience. As much as the Lord Hien intrigues us, Pepper, there are vital tasks to be attended here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Dome Castle, for one. There's also the matter of coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Hugane, dealing with this troublesome etherite. I could go on, but you understand. Aye, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. And we shall depart for the Azim step at once. You will be joining us, Pepper? Mm. For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Dome and Liberation Front in your absence. We will refrain from conducting any large-scale operations in your absence, and instead devote our energies to bolstering our ranks and training our new recruits. When you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you better contact us. Noble sacrifice are our last resort, remember? Um, bitch, did you not want to fucking bum rush the Imperial soldiers and nearly cost the lives of those innocent villagers? Oh, hi. You know who least reminds me of? And I know we can all relate to this. You know those people who, like, you converse with, whatever, and then they talk about things that you said as if it were their own ideas? When they take your ideas or they take your stories and they flaunt them around like they were creative enough to come up with them? Or cool enough to go through those experiences. She's got that energy. Most of the sounds are less than 20. Don't give a fuck! I don't care! I can still hate them! I can still hate them. Wait. Uri Anjay is less than 20 years old? That man speaks like he's 300 years old. He speaks like he was besties with fucking Shakespeare. The fuck? The fuck? Follow me, my friends. We have many moms to travel before we reach reunion. 
Wait, don't leave yet. Oh, it's a little boy. Here, take this for the road. It's simple fare, but it's the least we can do for you after what you did for us. It may be stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. When you come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. So, don't keep us waiting too long. I got food. I got food. I got sushi. We ball. Uriang Jai is 29th. Thancred is 32. Lee is 25. You're still can't see 23, but it's using magic. It's more like 33. It's using magic? Papalima was 44. Yeah, those are... That sounds... Those are adults. These are grown-ass people. It's just Alize and Alfino that are like 16. Oh. It's actually Tisdale. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Prepare the airship. God. His radiance will not object. Titties. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Some boombas. The silhouette for Xenos kills me. Same, bro. I don't know what. Do you understand here, why I appointed you to act in it. my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. The cause of your petty hatreds. They render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. Oh my god. To make an example of Doma. Such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Good God. No Do wonder she's a spiteful now, bitch. Or die with the rest Jeez. of them. Jeez. Oh, are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. Ah! I felt that. They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want her dead. I want her friends dead. I want the heads of everyone she knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. Okay, Cersei, relax. You mean... You mean I can finally go after her? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, she won't escape this time. Not this time. Oh, no. All right, Jason Statham, relax. Relax. God damn. Meanwhile, on the fringes of Girabanya. All right, what's happening here? That's a booty hole. Let us. Aye, this is the place. When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind, and yet here you are. It looks like a dragoon. I was thinking, is this, is this a Stinian? That's a Stinian, right? Is this a Stinian? It is. It is! Yet, if this be the work of the ice, what choice do you have but to end it? 
<laughs> I saw the He's boy so say, pretty. Damn you, Alphano. Wait, I missed that. I was staring at his beauty. He's going into the booty hole. Is it? Is he gonna plunge into the booty hole? He's going into my booty hole. It's not that big. But. He's so pretty. He looks like he needs some sleep. I don't know what his, like, skincare routine is, but those... Well, I wouldn't even call them bags. It's just eyeshadow. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Do I keep going? Chat, what's next? Like, how much more do I have? I'm at the level... I'm at level... Bleh, the level 65 story quest. Did I do it again? Soft Dom energy? He's He's got... He's got, um, service top energy, yeah. It is 1.52 a.m. It's almost 2 a.m. How are you feeling? Um, my legs are tired. Like, I could definitely go crawl into bed. Um, but I do want to keep playing. That's the thing. I want to keep going, but I'm sleepy. So I don't really know what to do. That's why I'm asking, like, what's next? Like, is it going to be, like, a little bit more filler? Or is it going to, like, pick up the pace? Oh, I'm from Toronto. I don't mind you asking. I tell everybody I'm from Toronto. What's the next call? The next quest called? It's called question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to a whole new zone soon? So should I play until I get there or save that for the next stream? <laughs> My body's saying no, but the story, the story's telling me yes. It'd be easy to tell if you check the name of the next quest. Oh, if I just like speak to you, Geary, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here there be Zayla. You, Geary, is ready to guide you to the Azim step. No work for me tomorrow, so I'm good either way. Bet. You area, you vibe. So should I do it? It's probably just gonna be a cutscene. Fuck it, we ball. If y'all are ready, if y'all- If all are ready, let us depart for reunion and the Azim step. Our route will be somewhat, uh, cir circuitous? We will need to return to the Ruby Sea and head north along the coast, past Isari. Alright, so I'll get this done and then I'll go to bed. All right, here we go. BRB, okay, Pars. It is about to pick up a bit, so it depends on what you want to do. All right, well, I'll unlock the next area. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll finish this quest. Like, this little, like, quest piece, and then I will hop off. I think that's gonna be the, the, the play here. I have an event to go to tomorrow, so I may not be able to stream. So I may not be able to stream, but I'll also see how my body is feeling. If, unfortunately, I am beaten down by my arthritis, I'll be live. So, we'll see how it goes. You guys may not see the rest of this, like another stream until Sunday, presumably. And I'll be streaming pretty consistently after that. I will be going to LA from November 2nd to November 6th. But again, when I come back, I'll be back to a steady schedule. I got nothing big coming up, so. I will not hammer slam Pepperfont for a little while. You know what? He deserves it. Get the next crystal and hop off. Exactly, exactly. Do you get me? God, the music is so pretty. Honestly, I want to listen to more of the Final Fantasy XIV, like, score, but I'm scared that it will spoil things for me. Wait, what is this? Oh, 
whatever. I'll, I just, I like picking up all the blue quests. Oh, that's a tribal quest. Interesting. Oh, there's Yugiri. I don't know what a tribal quest is. From here we will turn north until we arrive at a cave, through which we must pass in order to reach the Azim step. These Cinco Setsu have already gone on ahead. We should carry on as well. Okay. Oh, what's this? We must clear the first 50. Okay, well, that'll happen at some point. Alrighty, let's go. So I have to just keep going north? Oh, wait. Do I keep going north? Yeah, I do. Okay. I, th I think. Yeah, there's lease. So then I just keep going up here. They said a cave, right? Um, I'm assuming I'm gonna just follow the arrow. It goes up here. I thought that was a giant shrimp. It's a red dog. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the fuck? Satsu. All right. The Azim step. That wasn't that hard to get to. Oh, cutscene? Presumably. Honestly, I was wondering if they were gonna make me go through a whole like sequence myself, so it's kind of nice that they're breaking it up this way. Mountains, pretty. I remember the emptiness, vast and endless. The Azim Steppe, home to countless roaming tribes. It's vast. Those look like fingies. A sacred land, Ooh. watched over by elder gods. Here, we would find Doma's salvation. Ooh, more aura! With the wind at our backs, we walked on, in search of hope, in search of him. Oh, the music. It's so... I feel like I just walked in on something. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to be baptized. I give you the Azim step, Pepper, though I should say this is but one small portion of it. Despite the close proximity, Domans rarely venture this far north. Most find these lands and their people strange and foreign. Fortunately, those who frequent reunion are, mo are more welcoming than most. Or more welcoming than most. Come, it is not much further. Alrighty, let's go get that etherite. Hi, Viper! Oh, this is so pretty. Oh. All right. Apple split? Apple split? Apple split and peppermint. Oh, I got head pads. I got head pads. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the pads. I love the pads. Thank you for the pets. Eee! Okay. Is it just me or like are the aura kind of hot? It's Hello! Hello again! Were you waiting for me this whole time? We love to see it. We love to see it. Alright. Yeah, the the aura men are kinda hot. Some of them. Some of them also look kind of spooky. Eh. 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 Okay. Let's 
finish this up. Welcome to reunion, my friends. Here's where we will begin our search for Lord Hian. Alrighty. Oh, am I getting more head pads? Is that is that what's happening here? Oh! What are you doing the stanky leg? Alright. God damn, you got moves. Okay, where is he? Right there it is. Alrighty. We do a little attune. As a treat. Oh, I have mail. May as well go pick I mail as well go pick that up. Oh, it's pepper font. What he give me? Give me fireplace. Thank you, pepper font. Alright. Oh, Alright, chat. That is it for me. I had a lot of fun actually playing today, even though I got distracted with my anxiety earlier. This was this was good. This was good. And we made some new friends. We met some new people. Right? Look at this. Look at this. And whoever it was that was over there greeting me. Her. Whoever this is. Just vibes. Just vibes. But yeah. I will see you all, if not tomorrow night, Sunday night. I'll obviously be playing more of the Final Fantasy XIV storyline. If anyone wants to do dailies with me or just hang out or join the FC that we have, join my Discord server. You can prompt me at any time and I will invite you or I can even invite you right now as I am idling in game. Um, yeah, and you can, we can all hang and stuff. I'll see you all later. Don't forget to pre-order a mini me plushie before they're no longer available. Bye, friends. Take care. Bye.